Magna Charta by George Marriott Edgar I'll tell of the Magna Charta as were signed at the Baron's command on Runnymede Island in the middle of the Thames by King John as were known as Lackland. Some say it were wrong of the Baron's their will on the King so to thrust but you'll see, if you look at both sides of the case, that they had something to do something or burst. For John, from the moment they crowned him, started acting so cunning and sly. Being king, of course, he couldn't do wrong, but by gum, he'd a proper good try. He squandered the ratepayers' money, all their cattle and corn did he take till there wasn't a morsel of bread in the land and folk had to manage on cake. The way he behaved to young Arthur went to show as his feelings was bad. He tried to get Hubert to poke out his eyes, which is no way to treat a young lad. It were all right in being a tyrant to vassals and folks of that class but he tried on the, his tricks with the barons and all, and that's where he made a faux pas. He started bombarding their castles and burning them over their head till there wasn't enough castles left to go round and they had to sleep six in a bed. So they went to the king in a body and their spokesman Fitzwater by name he opened the hole in his helmet and said, conciliatory like, what's the game? The king starts to shilly and shally. He sits and he ums and he oars, till the barons in rage started gnashing their teeth and them with no teeth gnashed their gums. Said Fitz through the hole in his helmet, it was you as put us in this plight, and the king having nothing to say to this murmured, leave your address and I'll write. This angered the gallivant Fitzwater. He stamped on the floor with his foot, and was starting to give John a rare ticking off when the hole in his helmet fell shut. We'll get him a magna charter said Fitz when his face he had freed. Said the barons, that's right, if one's not enough, get a couple, and at them they'll breed. So they set about making a charter. When at finish they got it drawn up, it looked like a paper on cattle disease, or the entries for to Waterloo Cup. Next day, King John, all unsuspecting, and having the afternoon free, to Runnymede Island had taken a boat and were having some shrimps for his tea. He'd just pulled the head off a big un and were pinching its tail with his thumb, when up came a barge load of barons who said, We thought you'd be here, so we've come. When they told him they'd brought Magna Charter, the king seemed to go kind of limp, but minding his manners he took off his hat and said, Thanks very much, have a shrimp. You'd best sign at once, said Fitzwater. If you don't, I'll tell thee for a start. The next coronation will happen quite soon, and you won't be there to take part. So they spread Charter out on the tea table, and John signed his name like a lamb. His writing in places was sticky and thick through dipping his pen in the jam. And it's through that there Magna Charter, as was signed by the barons of old, that in England today we can do what we like, so long as we do what we're told. 
Okay, this is about Magna Carta. I know he's put the name Magna Charta, but it is a type of charter. Um, and uh, uh, this is uh, a funny poem about British history. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.